over 250 species of birds in a 5 square kilometer radius. That's Kumbhargaon, a fishing village that sits on the banks of the backwaters of the Ujjani Dam. Less than 2,000 people live in this village and they encourage avian tourism and take us on their little boats to get a closer view of the birds. On one of my visits to Kumbhargaon, I was walking through the woods one evening and I saw a yellow-eyed babbler bouncing from one twig to another and finally perched and looked straight at me like a cartoon character who was very happy to see me. That brought a smile to my face. It seemed to like me. Did you ever think that a bird or a wild animal liked you? Did you have such an experience? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear that story. A week later, when I got back home and looked at the photos, I noticed a string of small eggs sitting on the underside of one of the twigs. The eggs were of some insect and that's what delighted the babbler, not my presence. Very often, I know nothing about the birds I see and photograph. I learn something about them. I found out that babblers are passerines of the order of passeriforms, also known as songbirds or perching birds. Passeriforms contain about half the total number of living birds. That's almost 6,000 species. We see about 1,000 species in the Indian Empire. Some are residents, others seasonal visitors. Passery forms can perch in awkward positions because of well-adapted feet. The first toe faces backwards and three other toes face forward. This kind of adaptation helped this yellow-eyed babbler reach its supper that evening. What are the thoughts going through your mind right now? I'd like to know. Please tell me in the comments and subscribe to my channel. I'm Girish Menon and I invite you to experience people, places, nature and food through photography. Tell stories and inspire your friends. I facilitate one-to-one -one photography courses online. I will show you how to get the most out of your camera so that you can click sharp photos and that's one of the biggest pain points for beginners, getting sharp photos, especially in low light. And also create powerful images. What that means is to be able to arrange the elements in a frame in a manner that they are easy to understand. So come, meditate, create, communicate, see what it's like.